Welcome, everybody. We are live here at the DJ Begley Classic in Hazard, Kentucky. We got Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy on the call here as we got Hazard versus Jackson City, Kevin Keithley. Unbelievable. I'm telling you, top to bottom, DJ Begley Classic has it all for you. And listen, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, the D&D &D Sports Network, we didn't leave. We didn't go anywhere. We were here last night bringing you the action. We're right back from start to finish. We got you covered. Up first, yeah, you just watched a Hazard team knock off Belfry, 14th, 15th region challenge on the girls' side. Hazard doubled them up, got out of here with a big-time W. And, oh, yeah, now it's time for the host school, Hazard. Yeah, they're going to take on the Jackson City Tigers. And uh, we're going to find out what Jackson City is all about. A little unknown. A lot of people say, well, I'm not sure what they have, what they do, or what they don't. But one thing we do know is last night they played Betsy Lane at home, and uh, it was a 10-point game. So I don't know what happened there uh, uh, because Betsy Lane, one of the favorites in the 15th region, uh, maybe Jackson City a little further along than what folks had anticipated this year. Of course, they lost. Mr. Uh, Corey Flincham to Wolf County. So we're going to find out. And again, as I was telling Daryl McCoy in another lifetime, I used to come down the hill. Well, not come down the hill, but I used to work. They'd say, Coach Keith, will you come in and help the Jackson City Tigers? Will you, will you run some of the practices? I said, yeah, I'll come down. And uh, so in another lifetime, I guess you could say, quote, unquote, I was a special assistant for those Jackson City Tigers when I coached college basketball at Lee's College. So yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing Jackson City square off against Hazard. It's going to be a good one. Daryl McCoy's told me all about the talent Hazard has, and me and Daryl had an up-close and personal view um, during the offseason as they played the Prestonburg Black Cats, Daryl McCoy, in an offseason battle uh, yeah. several months ago. Well, you're going to get a heavy dose of Evan Eversall, and one of the best guards in the sophomore class is Seth Cottle. You'll get to see that right here in a minute. It's going to be a big-time matchup right here in the historic Hazard Memorial Gymnasium. And there's a lot of tradition-rich gymnasiums throughout the mountains, but I doubt there's an older gymnasium that holds as much tradition as this gymnasium does. Folks, remember in the 1950s, 1960s, Hazard was one of the most dominant teams, not only in the mountains, but in the state of Kentucky. So a uh, great facility for basketball. Uh, they're treating us right here. They've already said, come on down to the, to the, uh, what is it, Darrell, where they brought us to? The, uh, the hospitality yeah, room. Yeah, the hospitality room. They said, come fill your bellies. And we eat, sure enough, me and Darrell McCoy got us something to eat. Now we're, we're ready to go. All right, we're recharged, energized, locked in for this one. We absolutely are, and uh, you know I, I am stoked for this one here. You know, as uh, as you get to see Hazard again. You know, Jackson City uh, only the second time ever on D and D Sports Network. Jackson City. Wow, only the second time. Uh, again, a lot of unknowns about this Jackson City Tigers team because of who they lost and who they bring back. Um, they did lose Corey Flincham, and they lost him to Wolf County. He was a big piece. He averaged 28 points a game last year, Daryl, for Jackson City. And uh, so that's a big score and punch that they're going to miss this year. Yo, Coach, as we're yeah. here at the Hazard Gymnasium here at the DJ Begley Classic. want to thank each and everybody for tuning in. As Coach, we're going to jump out, take our first commercial break, and then we'll be right back. Hazard, Jackson City on the D&D Sports Network. If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley-Davidson, come on down to Mount State Harley-Davidson here in Del Barton, West Virginia. We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Or choose pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley-Davidson apparel and more. Don't write that check until you check with us, Mountain State Harley-Davidson, 61 Priest Bottom Road, or visit us online at mountainstatehd.com. Looking for a great selection, great prices, and a great experience on your next ATV, motorcycle, or side-by-side? -side? Come check out Kiefer's Kawasaki. Our number one goal is to offer you the best power sport experience at a great price. Like this, new 23 Kawasaki Terex 4 for only $17,999. Before you write that check, check with us. And remember, your adventure starts here at Kiefer Kawasaki. Route 44 South, Jerry West Highway in Logan, or visit KieferSpowerSports.net. 
come visit us at Castles Jewelry and Co-Run today. We got a history of making sure our clients' needs and wants are met. Castles Jewelry has a large selection of rings, necklaces, bracelets, and more. Remember, friends come and go. Jewelry lasts forever. Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance East Kentucky Chiropractic wants to remind you about their sports injury recovery clinic. Dr. Dale Williams has been providing treatment for sports injuries of all kinds for over 20 years, offering individualized treatments utilizing x-ray and therapies like cold laser, e-stem, and manipulation. East Kentucky Chiropractic can get you off the sidelines and back into the game. Schedule an appointment today with Dr. Williams or Dr. Fields. Call 606-487-9505. We accept most insurances, Medicare and Medicaid. Let the folks at Double Quick help you start your 2022 off right. They've brought back the Bourbon Pecan Coffee for a limited time only. You can also quench your thirst with the great deals on fountain drinks they offer daily. Double Quick is your one-stop shop for everything. They offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can stop by one of their many storefront locations spread throughout eastern Kentucky. Stop by and let Double Quick make your day better. Daryl McCoy, yeah, we're here at the historic Hazard Memorial Gymnasium getting ready to tip off with 14th region, uh, 14th region matchup. Hazard, yeah, tradition rich Hazard in their home building. DJ Bigley Classic squaring off against those Jackson City Tigers a little over about 20 miles down the road up on the hill in Jackson, Kentucky. Yeah, uh, we're going to see exactly the revamp. I don't know if they're revamped more so. Oh, where's the scoring going to come from this year with Corey Fincham now at Wolf County, uh, who averaged 28 points a game. Um, played Betsy Lane last night to a 10-point game at home. So we're about to find out as we're under a minute uh, from tip-off here. Game two of the day here, DJ Begley Classic, Hazard, Kentucky. D&D Sports Network. Make sure you tell your friends. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Scroll down. Find the D&D Sports Network. We've been here from start to finish. Tune us in. Dial us in. Share us. Like us. It'll let folks know there's only one place to catch the DJ Begley Classic, and that's right here on the D&D Sports Network. Absolutely. Coach Keithley, want to uh, real quick. Thank our gracious sponsors. The uh, as we have Sayersville Funeral Home, Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance, Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau, East Main Street Pharmacy, Camper Furniture, Zip Zone, Warfield, Kentucky, Mexican Restaurant in Inez, Howard Family Pharmacy, Double Quick, Conley Brothers Giovanni's, Willie Crace at Crace Construction, Solid Rock Development, Crumb Funeral Home. I want to thank Smoking Hot Vape Shop, Citizens Bank of Kentucky, Made the Cray, Castle Jewelry, Huff Pharmacy, and Tropical All for sponsoring today's game. The DJ Begley sponsors are Tim Short Chevrolet, Perry County Judge Scott Alexander, and Mayor Happy Mobilini. Uh, number two, Jacob. Who is it? Uh, we don't have that on the roster. At forward, number 24, Dyson Clay. We apologize, guys. These rosters are nowhere near correct, and that's off the KHSAA. <laughs> And now for your Hazard Bulldogs. We might have had a change in uniform there. We'll we'll uh, figure it out. Five, Evan Eversole. Yeah, that's that's one of my pet peeves, you know, the uh, you know, coaches not updating the KHSAA. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> There's your guy, Seth Cottle. Yep. Evan Eversall, Seth Cottle, number forty. We got the big fella. Done some work last night. That is Kenyon Higgins. Number two, Dalton Combs. Oh, here. Yeah. 
The officials were A, Chris Amberby, Justin Amberby, and Mr. Gary Evans. Yeah. Again, a couple of uniform changes to start out the gate, both on Hazard, both on Jackson City. Uh, Jackson City uh, a little bigger in size than what I anticipated on the backside. Uh, they're going to have a uh, um, Paxton Howard to jump. And let us low, ladies and gentlemen, make sure uh, these numbers and uniforms are uh, exactly where the, what they need to be. Starting off in a 1 2 2, it looks Shaxon City is, Daryl. Yeah. 1 2 2 zone. I'll swing it over. That was, uh, that's number 20. Um, trying to find it on my yeah, roster. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, did not have 20 in, in the uh, book. Let us know, ladies and gentlemen. That's Caden Ramey. Caden Ramey. Yeah. And Dalton Combs dumps it down to Eversaw. Ooh. Higgins has to shoot that shot. He had a wide open layup and kicked it out. That's another one of my pet peeves, Coach. You don't work the ball down low and get a two-foot shot and kick it out. Well, if it, right, you get it two feet. You get in that paint, you probably should uh, – that's a high percentage yeah. shot, Darrell. Oh, well, I mean, and that just goes back to the, the game of basketball. That's – what the game of basketball is supposed to be. You work to get a close shot, and then if you can't get a close one, you work to get the best shot. Right. You know, that's, that's basketball 101. Yeah. Paxton Howard up top, and uh, number two is uh, Jacob Morgan for Jackson City. Hazard. Yeah. There you go, Cottle on the break. Nice lay in by Seth Cottle. Very smooth in the open court. Nice finish for Seth Cottle. Here comes that pressure by Hazard. Dyson Clare with the bat. Well, and Dyson Clare with number 24. Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to call this Jackson <laughs> roster because it is awful. <laughs> <laughs> and we mean uh, could or could not be right. Ladies yeah, yeah, that, yeah. No, no, that's what I mean. Right. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's the numbers are uh, they're awful. They're all, all out of whack. 21. Let us know, Paxton Howard. Yeah. And uh, number two is um, uh, Jacob Morgan. Number 32, Pat Peyton. I met one of the parents. We'll go. We'll try to get him up here in a second and uh, see if he can clarify things for us on the roster. Cottle on the go. Yeah, Higgins. Look across the court. Got it over to Combs. Combs back out to Ramey. Hazard, they have three, four guys there, all very solid with the basketball, very fundamental. Nice dump off Eversaw, finding a cut, and Seth Cottle. Yeah, Cottle now has four. Here comes that pressure. Looks like uh, could be a 2 2 1. They're going to get a foul there on uh, number 40, uh, Ken Kenyon Higgins. Going to the free throw line is Mr. Jacob Morgan for Jackson City. Good hour. Morgan converts on the first. It's the second. On the scoreboard, Jackson City, four to two here. Off and running. Cottle swings it over to Combs. To the corner to Higgins. 1-2-2 two, two by Jackson City. And they're doing a smart job taking and uh, bringing a soft double team on Eversol, trying to prevent the ball from even being entered to the post. H Higgins going to shoot two here. Jenkins girls uh, won 59-48 over Mount View. Appreciate that, Ethan. Uh, Cal defeats or started the fourth quarter is up 34-16 on Bell County in the state championship game. 
Guys, do us a favor. Hit that like and share button. Get these numbers up for these boys as we are here at the DJ Begley Classic. And you shouldn't be anywhere else because they Al Holland has put together another stellar tournament. Absolutely. Has anybody been involved with Perry County Sports, uh, Hazard Sports, more than uh, uh, Mr. Holland? He's a legend. I mean, he's literally a legend in in 14th region, fifth well, mountain basketball, period. Absolutely. Now, Jackson City trying to break free here, you know. Higgins. Yeah, Higgins gets the pick. He's going to go coast to coast. The big fella. Lost float. his foot and yep. footing. Ever saw with the bucket. You know, and this, this Higgins kid, as, you know, he gets into – basketball shape he's a, a football player as he gets into basketball shape this this hazard team could be one that rivals the Knott County and Breathitt County Letcher Centrals for that 14th region title because there's nobody that's got a front line as big as this I one. agree with you no doubt about it a top 14 uh, ever saw with the turnaround no good it's number 44 the big fella yeah Braxton Jett with a rebound number 44 for Jackson City now swing the ball over. Number 24 has the ball now. Nice and clear. Yeah. That one we know is correct. Yeah. Clear. Yeah, going to shoot two. Yeah, finger row no good, but he'll have a chance to earn two at the free throw line. That was on the ball box, number five. Seven to two early. First boys game of the afternoon. Yeah. Uh, and I can't wait for this evening, Coach. All day long, we have great basketball for you folks at home. You know, up next, we got Car Creek versus Hazard, middle school action, and then the nightcap, two of the best games in the state. We will have right here on the d, &D Sports Network later tonight. But up first here, Hazard trying to take care of Jackson City. Early on here, 7-2 lead, Eversol. Yeah. Battling underneath, going to go to the free throw line. And that's one thing he does. He gets to the line when he wants to. Very physical forward. Almost any team in the 14th region, I think it's always uh, one of the first things you say uh, or we say is physical. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he's physical, and the uh, uh, other thing about him is, Coach, he has the ability to stretch the floor. I mean, he has a really great 15, 17-foot jumper. Still by Eversol. Yeah. Going to shoot two again. Ethan Cummings says, Al Holland is a legend in coaching and got two mountain uh, commentators on the call as well. That's legends. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Ethan. Uh, Y'all's doing a good job with that Coach's Corner show that you can watch every Sunday night on the d, &D Sports Network. He'll shoot the second here. Shot up. Left it. Points on the board there. Jackson City will regain possession. Braston Jet, what did you say? What do you say, Daryl? Six four, six five? Uh, I, yeah. Tough I'd to tell, tell up probably, here. Yeah. I can't really tell. I have seen him beside Eversol. On the go. He's slow to get oh, up. Oh, he yeah, is. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say he's 6'4", 6'5", yeah. Yeah, he looks like the biggest kid on the floor. Coming up hobbling a little bit. Mm. Evan Phipps in for Jackson City, number 10. Uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, if that's not correct, let us know. Phipps. They may get away with the travel there. Jackson City looking to get a, a nice shot. Uh, Trying to bounce it off his leg. Has her retains. And Morgan with a turnover here. Cottle kicks up to Eversol. Eversol dumps it down to Higgins. Higgins turns off the glass. Nice job by Higgins to keep running. Yeah. Uh, he didn't stop running, Daryl, and he received that pass from Eversol. Right where he needed to catch it, right around the rim. What I like is, you know, I mean, he showed uh, great feet to uh, things getting physical down low. <laughs> he showed great feet to uh, uh, to stop and go opposite direction with all his momentum going the other way. Higgins bumped uh, 
Set Jed, Jed a little bit. Jed asked, what are you, what are you doing? He said, well, right, well, we're here to play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Swing it out, Ramey. Gets over to Cottle, Cottle. He's going to fire the three. Off the mark, Higgins with the rebound. Oh, he's a load. Yeah, goes up, missed shot. Eversall with put back. Eversall with seven. Applying pressure here. Howard bringing the ball up the floor here for Jackson City. Swing it over to Phipps. He dumps it down to Jet. Jet backed out to Howard. Yep, going to get a bump. Dallas on the Bulldogs. Number 40. Interesting seeing how this uh, Jet kid, you know, I've heard a lot about him. They said, you know, when you talk to Jackson City, everybody says they have a nice big guy. Yeah. So, and look forward to seeing how he plays here tonight. Also Ethan Cummings says Jackson City losing Flincham was a huge loss. Hopefully they're able to get through it. Yeah, the, the, we got a film. They'll be uh, all right, don't we, Darrell? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. There's Howard. You had a chance to watch that Wolf County team. Yeah. Yeah, watched them the other night against McGough and showed a ton of fight. You know, they're a, uh, they're a team that's young, but they got some pieces, Coach. They do indeed. Mm -hmm. Off and running. Hazard. Over to Eversall, right in the middle of the floor. Yeah, yeah they got to have that Caleb Creech, Skylar Ritchie. Oh, three-point bucket, Dalton Combs. And then coming back the other way, Howard bringing the ball to the floor. Eversall gardening full court. Yeah, that's a nice luxury to have when your big can get down and guard a point guard full court, Coach. Yeah. And that's the one thing they'll do. We saw that during the offseason. We had an opportunity to watch them uh, uh, at the uh, Knott County Sportsplex, and they guard. Guys, hit that like and share button as uh, we are live here at the DJ Begley Classic at a true treasure in mountain basketball, Memorial Gymnasium. 17-2, to two, home team all over Jackson City early. Coach, this is a legendary gym, and this place is going to be packed to capacity tonight. Oh, nice block. Nice. Phipps got the block, but they got him for the foul. Don't forget, guys, we got basketball all day. We got middle school tournament in Hearts, West Virginia, and then we also have Prestonsburg versus Buckhorn coming on at 430. Prestonburg looking to keep that momentum going after a historic win over Shelby Valley yeah. a couple of nights ago. First win in 25 years yeah. over the Valley Wildcats. Now swing it out to Howard. Howard bringing the ball up to the floor. 18 to 2. Hazard still trapping. We're going to go out of, they're, they're going to call a foul. I think it's going to be on Seth Cottle. Jackson yeah. City, uh, lo obviously located in Jackson, Kentucky, Breathitt County, Kentucky, about 20 miles from here, Daryl. Uh, no high academics at Jackson City, Daryl. Oh, man, they got uh, some of the best academics in the state. Uh, I, went, I went to school way far away from there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm tickled to death to get to uh, cover Jackson City, get to cover these hazard teams yeah. as uh, the ND Sports Network has added the 14th region to our coverage area full time this year. Last year we covered the 53rd district, but this year full time we are in the house here. Coach, I'd hate to see. There's a three pointer by Combs. The uh, I'd hate to see how many 14th region games we've already done this year. Uh, 10 plus. Yeah, easily. Well, we done 10 plus in that Perry Central. Yeah, that's true. Uh, or West Perry tournament. Coming back the other way. Bulldogs. Yeah. On the floor. He was going, uh, from my point of view, he was going up. Got Jet with the personal. Now I'm trying to see if I can get this roster. Two shots for Everson. 
Ever, yeah, I ever saw going to shoot too. Can't convert on the first. Coach number 10 for Hazard is, uh, is Trace Kincaid. Trace Kincaid. Yeah. Half court shot up. No good. At the end of one, it's going to be a 22 to 3 lead. Hazard over Jackson City. We'll take a quick break. Be right back. If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley-Davidson, come on down to Mount St. Harley-Davidson here in Del Barton, West Virginia. We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Or choose pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley-Davidson apparel and more. Don't write that check until you check with us, Mountain State Harley-Davidson, 61 Priest Bottom Road, or visit us online at mountainstatehd.com. Looking for a great selection, great prices, and a great experience on your next ATV, motorcycle, or side-by-side? -side? Come check out Kiefer's Kawasaki. Our number one goal is to offer you the best power sport experience at a great price. Like this, new 23 Kawasaki Terex 4 for only $17,999. Before you write that check, check with us. And remember, your adventure starts here at Kiefer Kawasaki. Route 44 South, Jerry West Highway in Logan, or visit Kiefer'sPowerSports.net. D&D Sports Network, Hazard, Kentucky, Darrell McCoy. Yeah, you know we weren't going to be anywhere else than the DJ Begley Classic. But wait a minute, we are somewhere else. We're, yeah, we're over in uh, Prestonburg, Kentucky, uh, covering the Buckhorn game as well, and in West Virginia, covering middle school basketball all day long. Yep, absolutely. Coach, we just got a schedule change for Monday. The Huntington Preps game has been moved from – uh, the Mountain Health Arena in Huntington to West Virginia State in Charleston. Wow. I'm all, hey, listen, we love going down there, Huntington Prep Games. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It is a show. Nice screen. Jet. Uh, Jack Steady doing a nice job being patient. Might be a more so a job of Hazard's doing defensively. There it is, dials it up. Can't convert. Eversol coming away with it. On the go. Cottle. Cottle really smooth with the ball. Yeah. Swings it over to Kincaid. Back up. Calling what they want, running a box set here, Hazard. Jackson in a man to man. A little double action. Ever saw. Going to work. Phipps swings it to the corner. Shot up. No good. Ever saw with another one, Darrell. Yeah. Nice job. Looking like Kevin Love there, coach. With that outlet pass. Yeah, nice job looking up. Ever saw. Gonna dial it up. Got the bounce. Yep. High bounce. We Love that shot clock. We seen that happen here last night, Coach. We seen two shots that bounced up like that. Uh, one of them bounced four times on the rim, straight up and down, and fell in. Daryl, I'm just wondering here. I, we uh, back in the day, I played a college game here against Berea College, uh, and one of the things was is we had to have shot clocks. Well, I wonder why the shot clocks are installed here now here in Hazard. Well, what went on during that time? Was there a prep program here in Hazard, Kentucky? Um, they've got shot clocks here. Uh, well, we uh, we talked about that last night. I think what happened is I think somebody donated them uh, and they donated them so players would have the clock in front of them, and uh, which is tough here because, uh, I mean, Memorial uh, Gymnasium is one of the places you're lucky to have scoreboards in every corner. Well, what I mean is the shot clock. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. They, they, oh, I, they I were donated so uh, the players would yeah. have them straight in front of them. Yeah, I see. And uh, that's what I was asking. You know, I mean, are they playing college games here on regularly? And they said, no, it's the, the donation deal. Jet with the bucket. Well, we know they're not playing college games here, even though college. But I was wondering if there, you, there was a prep school or a, a, 
Uh, and coach, do you think that's a home court advantage Never that saw. the uh, the clock is turned on on the hazard end, but on the other end it's not? That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice that. It, it'd be interesting to see second half if it yeah. gets turned on down there. Right. And so I can't blame them for doing it. Right. Ever saw going to the line. Yeah, guys, hit that lock and chair button. Get these numbers up here. We'll be here all day long. As we got two middle school games coming up next, Coach, to replace the East Ridge versus South Laurel game. And then we will close it out with two of the best games going on in the state tonight in not Central Pike Central and Martin County versus Breathitt. Nice Coddle. Jumper. Yeah. Got the rebound and the putback. This Eversaw Coddle duo. Tough. Yeah. Jet with the ball. Yeah, swings it back out. Over to Phipps. Phipps. Back out to Morgan. And there's Kincaid with the rip and the bucket. 32, 34 to 5 here. Hazard all over Jackson City. Nice job. Nice pass. Howard getting jiggy with it. Now Cottle, we're gonna bring him back out front here. Who who had the bucket for Jackson City there? I don't know. I know Howard had the assist, but I don't know who had the bucket. Yeah. Uh, Bud Montgomery says, "I'm in Menifee County." Said, "Love watching D and D Sports Network." You know, I I got to speak to uh, Bud the other day, and uh, I love it when uh, some of these legends and these uh, these older folks call us and uh, talk about, you know, what what a good job we're doing and how we changed their life, yeah. you know, bringing these games to them. And, yeah. You know, that, that means more than you know. Uh, you know, Bud definitely called Bud a friend after our conversation the other day. Well, Bud, listen, we're going to have Menifee County in just a few weeks at Prestonsburg. Yeah, that's going to be an interesting one. Here comes Eversaw. Nice pass for the big fella. Coach, that was number 22 with the bucket. Tucker Johnson. 38 to 7 here. Uh, Hazard's kind of pulled off on that pressure. Jet. He's going to go to the line. He'll shoot a couple. Guys. As you're looking right now, 38 to 7 advantage. Coach. If you, yeah, I know folks from Jackson City area and Betsy Lane area is tuning in. Let us know. I, I, I thought that was a closer game than anticipated 10, 12 point game final. Let us know um, kind of the uh, how that game played out from last night. Yeah, they got number three in the game now for Hazard. Clint, and we Clint, don't have him. Clint on. Davidson. Yeah, Clint Davidson. Again, as long as that roster is correct. Yeah, I think you're correct there. Nice pass down to Higgins. Higgins. Changed it, it. Moved, uh, changed it to his left. Yep. Uh, left hand there at the last second. Yeah, and hey, right now, this kind of game's like this. This is where you work on stuff, Coach. Yeah. There's Howard going to work. He's going to stop, pop, and cannot drop as Higgins rips down the rebound. Bulldogs on the push. Swings it over to the far corner. Shot up, no good. Davidson couldn't control the rebound, but possession will stay here to Hazard. Uh, Daryl McCoy, who, who is the official uh, closest to the scoreboard? I know who it looks like, but yeah. I don't know if that's who it right. is. That's what I was going to say. I, uh, oh, Higgins battling. Let's see what the call is here. Yes, that's Coach Amberg. Yes. Yeah. Pulling double duty. How about that? I did not know he was an official. Yes. Does it all. Yeah. Number three is Connor Holbrook, Coach. 
Connor Holbrook, they changed up the jerseys on us, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, they they sent the uh, the roster, the book over, Coach. Uh, I'll send it to you here in a minute. I think that's the only one, the only him and Kincaid. Three-pointer up, left short. One the other way. Into the game for the Bulldogs, the 20 keeps ready and turns. Blazes Jackson. Now, Coach, I know uh, he said they had Eastridge drop out. So, uh, Eastridge South Laurel game is canceled. And uh, they was going to replace it with a Huntington Prep game and couldn't get that done. Uh, Huntington Prep ended up having a scheduling conflict. So, uh, we ended up having to replace it with middle school action. Yeah. And I'm telling you, Coach, I'm uh, well, was you with me at West Perry? Uh, for a, yeah, for a day, yeah. Yeah, that Hazard team, very talented yeah, Hazard team. Absolutely. They got a, uh, I think it's the Combs kid. It's really good. Yeah. Number 24. Combs inbound. Holbrook with the basketball. Connor Holbrook. Jackson City, straight man to man here. Higgins has that on the elbow, swings it over to Combs. Back to Higgins, to Davidson. Combs slings it. Combs has three threes. Yeah, Dalton Combs coming out firing here tonight. And it's 41 to seven, Daryl. Oh, eye to eye on all passes. Yep. You always say that, Coach, and uh, that never more true. Carson Combs checks in, Daryl. That's a number one, right? Yep. Uh, not 33. Now, number one, uh, where are you at here? I believe they announced him as Carson Combs checking in. So a little change on that. Hazard being patient with the ball. Fast moving half. Number one is Carson Combs. Yeah. Nice little jab step shot fake. Pull up. Nice job. Pokes it out. Ooh. Oh. Sure. Yeah, Combs took a hard that fall, but he's okay. Kids tough as nails. Yeah. Better believe this floor doesn't have any give. Don't forget, guys. Up next, we well, we got the Hearts Tournament going on where we got a load of the top teams in West Virginia Middle School basketball. We got Prestonsburg versus Buckhorn. And we also have Hazard versus Car Creek. And then later tonight, the games everybody's been waiting on. Not Central versus Pike Central and Martin County versus Breathitt. Well, this is just, a, uh, again, a prelude to what you're about to see. And it's kind of that calm before the storm when we get junior high basketball action. I love it. Any, any day I'm in a gym, Coach, is a blessed day. Always a good day to be able to come down and, and cover sports and, and uh, do what you love to do. And, and uh, you get to do it every day, don't you, Daryl? Absolutely. The, uh, you know, so sometimes, Coach, it gets so overwhelming that, you know, I mean, you, you realize, you know, I mean, like, what am I doing? You know, I mean, right. you know, every, every seven days a week working at it. And it, uh, but then when you sit back and think, you think how blessed you are to do something like this. You're right. You know, and I want to thank our fans and our sponsors are the reasons that we're able to do that. Nice job. Floater, no good. Jackson City gets off into rebound. Put up off the glass. She couldn't get it to fall. Ramey on the break here. Kicks it to the corner. Shot, no good. And that'll end the half. It's going to be Hazard leading things in a large way. 43 to 7 at the break over Jackson City. We'll take a quick break. Be right back with our halftime analysis.
This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. The Black Friday sale is on now at Kimber's. Kimber is letting you choose how you want to save, and the offers are incredible. On top of great sale prices store-wide, take an extra 10% off the lowest marked sale price on everything you buy, and Kimber will pay your sales tax too. Or get up to 72 months, six full years interest-free. Look for amazing doormuster deals throughout the store during the Black Friday sale at your favorite Kimber store. The Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance wants to inform the general public that Little Flower Clinic is a full-service medical clinic available for everyone. We accept most major insurances like the one your employer provides and Medicaid. Little Flower has an experienced staff of medical professionals providing all types of services from general physicians, mental health services, dental, chronic disease case management, and even chiropractic. We have on-site x-ray and laboratory services. Little Flower Clinic, everyone's medical home in the the mountains. I'm Alicia Maynard. And I'm Dr. Alan Baldwin. And we'd like to show you some of the services we offer here at Maynard Chiropractic. Big deep breath. Oh, yeah. Here at Maynard Chiropractic, we're taking all the necessary precautionary measures to ensure patient and provider safety. Schedule your appointment with Better Health today. Let the folks at Double Quick help you start your 2022 off right. They've brought back the Bourbon Pecan Coffee for a limited time only. You can also quench your thirst with the great deals on fountain drinks they offer daily. Double Quick is your one-stop shop for everything. They offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can stop by one of their many storefront locations spread throughout eastern Kentucky. Stop by and let Double Quick make your day better. Looking for a great selection, great prices, and a great experience on your next ATV, motorcycle, or side side Come check out Kiefer's Kawasaki. Our number one goal is to offer you the best power sport. The Black Friday sale is on now at Kimber's. Kimber is letting you choose how you want to save, and the offers are incredible. On top of great sale prices store-wide, take an extra 10% off the lowest marked sale price on everything you buy, and Kimber will pay your sales tax too. Or get up to 72 months, six full years interest-free. Look for amazing doormuster deals throughout the store during the Black Friday sale at your favorite Kimber store. Back here at Memorial Gymnasium, Kevin Keithley, Daryl McCoy on the call as we got the DJ Begley Classic here at Memorial Gymnasium, Coach. Listen, it's not DJ Khaled, no, but yeah, we the best, Daryl McCoy, and you're talking about the DJ Begley Classic. You're talking about the D&D Sports Network. It is a match made in heaven, and yeah, you heard that right, Daryl McCoy said, for the first time in the seven-year existence of the D Sports Network, we are now full-time in the 14th region from Letcher County to Powell County, Estill County, Lee County, and all points in between. And you better believe those breath at Bobcats will get a heavy dose of those this year as well. They'll be coming up here in a couple of hours. Yeah, we got you covered here all day long here. Right now it's Hazard leading Jackson City. 43 to seven at halftime, and Daryl McCoy, let's just be honest, Hazard is on a different level than Jackson City, and I think most fans will agree with that. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure Jackson City fans will uh, agree too. You know, I was speaking to uh, one of the parents of Jackson City, and they said, they said, you know, they said we're just proud that we're able to fill the roster. Yeah. And uh, you know, and you know, every now and then they'll strike gold, like a few years ago, and they win district. Yeah. You know, but. You know, that's uh, this team here, they got to develop it a little bit. But, you know, I mean, 
Uh, we'll, we'll see. I mean, they got some nice pieces, and we'll see uh, how they end up developing. And they did lose their token star in Corey Flintham right before the season, so that throws things out of whack. They left, uh, lost 27 points a game. The 2027 uh, guard, Corey Flintham, now at Wolf County, had 10 points against uh, McGoffin County. Uh, yeah, Daryl McCoy. Uh, so, yeah, they're a little behind, but like Daryl said, Jackson City is a very small school located in Breathitt County, Kentucky, up on the hill from Hazard Community College, Lees College, and Breathitt County, a stone th throws away. So to have a team and, and to compete, uh, it says something about that athletics program. But Daryl's right. Every so often, they have a big-time player and they have a good team. Uh, Josh Sewell uh, ended up signing for uh, St. Catherine College back in 2001. He might be one of their greatest well, players. They had Thomas Kemper, uh, yeah. too, right? Well, Thomas Kemper was teammates with Josh Sewell, and uh, Thomas Kemper was a heck of a player for the Jackson City Tigers. Now Tom, uh, running Kemper Furniture. Yeah, he's uh, Thomas Kemper. Uh, he was right there with Derek Bowling, Deshae Woolham, and uh, and crew. We had uh, uh, Deshae Woolham. I also want to give a big shout out to this man sitting across from us here, Coach. Uh, Scott Napier, Scott Napier, longtime uh, radio personality here in the Hazard area, and he was one of the people that uh, said, "Hey, you know, I want to help the ND Sports Network add the 14th region. What can I do?" And thanks to Little Flower Clinic, Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance, Quantum Health, and East Kentucky Chiropractic, you know, uh, along with Derek Bowling, the Shea Woolham, and Thomas Kemper, we're here. We're here, and uh, we're not going anywhere. We'll be here all season long and for years to come. And uh, as I was saying, I'm so happy that Jackson City's getting this stage today because not very often is Jackson City uh, showcased on a network like the DD Sports Network. So it's great for those kids. Coach, I think this is the second time we've had uh, Jackson City on DD. I'm pretty sure the first game, I'm trying to think who it was that they was playing. Maybe. Maybe Tuck Valley, maybe. Uh, I, I remember where it was at. It was at Adams Middle School, and I think it was the first time D&D &D ever had the production equipment. Yeah. Uh, we was up there. The, 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 the yeah, Jet James the tournament. Elliott Turner yes. tournament. Yes, that's the first time we yeah. ever covered Jackson City. And, uh, you know, here we are again, you know, four years later. And, uh, and man, uh, how things have went. How, how things have grown. If you're just tuning in and you're saying, well, wait a minute, what's going on? Well, I'm going to tell you what's going on. Hazards all over Jackson City, 43-7 to here at halftime, and you've seen a heavy, heavy dose of Mr. Evan Eversall. Yes, sir, Mr. Uh, uh, Kenyon Higgins and Seth Cottle for Hazard. They have done the heavy bulk of the scoring and the heavy bulk of, uh, of, of their – offense overall and yeah throw in mr uh ken Cade as well and uh uh dalton combs with three tray balls unofficial scoring for hazard seth cottle with six dalton combs with nine evan ever saw with 14 15 uh higgins with five ken Cade with three and uh, that's all unofficial ladies and gentlemen because there's a couple of changes on the uniforms and and for Jackson City and I think the key going along going moving forward for Jackson City is how can we get our big man involved how can we get him more touches because good things happen when Mr. Braxton Jet touches the ball six foot five uh, big long so I think they're going to try to figure out uh, as the season moves along how can we get him more involved we're about a minute away from start of the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Daryl McCoy told you, in the nightcap, we've got a double main event. We've got Pike Central squaring off against Knott County Central, 14th, 15th region challenge. And then, oh yeah, Breathitt County, led by Austin Sperry, one of the top 2025 guards in the state and nationally, has six Division I offers with several more coming down the pike. You're not gonna wanna go anywhere if you've never watched that young man play. They're getting ready to square off against some pretty good guards themselves, Daryl McCoy and Martin County. Oh, my goodness. Luke Hale dropped 38 at the zip zone. 
Coach, uh, definitely want to ask people to give some prayers out. We just got information. Katie Jo Moore may have broke her ankle for Alice Lloyd. Uh, we were supposed to be at that game today and uh, ended up uh, having to exit out. And uh, the uh, hate to see that happen for Katie Jo because she was having a good season so far for the Eagles. Had a tremendous game uh, when we were there uh, yeah. three weeks ago. Yeah. So here we go, starting back out. Seth Cottle controlling things out top. Swings over to Combs. Combs to Eversol. Eversol back out. Ramey has it deflected. An early turnover here. And Coach Holland saying, what's going on, guys? Just swing the ball. It's simple. Just swing the ball. He, You know, he's calm, cool, and collected. He's been there and done that. Multiple regional titles. Coach, I'm a huge fan of that man. He coached a young man by the name of Brian Kilburn. Yes, yes. Brian Kilburn, if I'm not mistaken, may have played with uh, Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau. Oh, yeah. Well, I coached Brian for almost a full season. Brian decided, he said, you know what, I'm done with basketball. I've done everything I needed to do. He, he said, I'm just going to hang them up. Coach, you, uh, you started uh, coaching in what, 76? <laughs> right. I know. <laughs> it seems like it, right? <laughs> I bet people don't believe me. But well, maybe they do because I look about like I'm 60 years old. Eversol dumps it over to Higgins. Another turnover. Here comes Jackson City on the break. One on two break here. There's that outlet you're talking yep. about. That's that football in him. Showed a nice arm there. Give Combs 11. I'm telling you, Coach, give Kenyon Higgins a month to I get conditioned. This, this Hazard team is going to be a team to be reckoned with. I agree with you. Really impressed with Higgins. They may get those hands up in that zone, though. Right? Yes, they got to. Coach going to tell them about that during a the timeout. There's Jet. And, and I think as the season moves along, you'll see Jet uh, with more touches uh, yeah. for Jackson City. Got a fourth personal already. At the line for the Tigers, Jack. Uh, Josh Mack says, so is Breathitt playing tonight? They yes. are. Coach Breathitt is the nightcap. They are the main event. Breathitt County versus Martin County in a uh, battle of the powers of the 14th versus 15th region. You talk about guard play. It, it's it's absolutely loaded. Breathitt in Martin County. Coach, I can't wait to see how the 14th versus 15th region challenge D&D Sports Network Battle of the Regions turn out at the end of the day. Yeah, right. And with four games, can the 15th region make any ground at four, uh, 14th region after Hazard Girls beat Belfry earlier today? That makes what, 4-1? Four, 4-1. One. Four, one. Uh, 15th has led a couple of slip, Daryl. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, listen, if you're 15th region fans, you're saying, man, we took two of those games you had in the palm of your hand. And I can tell you, 14th region uh, folks, they like to talk. Yeah. So, uh, you know, they're going to have bragging rights if 15th region don't do something and clean this up. 14th region gets tired of hearing that they are the uh, redheaded stepchild yeah, uh, of, of Kentucky basketball. Yeah, Kentucky basketball. They do not like that one bit. There Shot up and good. No, and this year, I mean, not Central. They got a team that, you know, could possibly win a game at State, you know. And Anytime you got a, a kid like um, we were talking about him on the way, Daryl. Um, Jaden Huff. Yes. Nice entry pass. Cottle hitting Dalton Combs. Combs with 13. Yeah, they got really good guard play with Drake Sloan. Uh and Hunter Haddix. Kicks it back out. Three-pointer up. Got it. Good. Hazard being patient with the ball. Nice pull up. That's pretty. Yeah, sweet jumper. Again, those guards that's got that jump shot, you know they put that time in the gym. Never saw with the rebound. Coddle on the go. Nice job using a screen. Ever, uh, Combs. Combs. Yeah, off the mark. 
Coming back the other way, Howard pushing the pace here for Jackson City. He's looking for help, swings it over. Trying to get it to Jet, but Hazard comes with another turnover, Coach. 52 to 14 here. Got it. <laughs> Coddle. How many has he got so far, Coach? Coddle's got um, 11. 11. So he's got double digits. Yes. Ball moving around the horn. Jet got a post target to man the ball. Not demanding it at all. It's off the mark. Yeah, he he's the real deal, Daryl. Yeah. Higgins. Yeah, he's uh, and like I said, you know, I mean, he's in football shape. You know, they didn't expect to have him. You know, and uh, you know what a luxury it is to have. See him flash up. Nice job. Oh, good job by Jet blocking Eversaw, but Eversaw stuck with it, Coach. Got the putback. 57-14. Hazard. Under two to play in the third quarter. Uh, Hazard in the 2-3 zone now. Mm. Eversaw with another rebound. He's going to be approaching a double-double. Higgins. Higgins, triple team. Eversaw. Yep. Good ball movement. Find the big guy. Coach, 59-14 is the lead for the Hazard Bulldogs over Jackson City here. Eversaw has 22. Yep. Here comes the uh, bench, Daryl, for Hazard. They're gonna sit, uh, starter's going to sit the rest of the way. Josh Mack, we appreciate that. If you don't care, make sure you hit that like and share button. Let everybody know we are live here. As uh, we got a great day of basketball ahead, and you're going to see Cool Hand Luke Hill and Braden McKenzie, the dynamic duo for the Cardinals, taking on Austin Sperry and crew of Breathitt County to close things out. And then the game that I'm looking forward to, too, is that not Central Pike Central game. Uh, Luke held 38 points at the zip zone. Yep. Uh, had, in my mind, the best single performance there. I, I would agree. He, he yeah. Um, I Luke, mean, Luke held had 38, and it was just a good start uh, from start to finish, right? Yep. Absolutely was. Now, the thing, nice job cutting. Shot up by Kincaid off the mark. You know, coaching the. Uh, other thing, you know, Casey Huff will be coaching against uh, one of his. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've got junior high action up next, Daryl McCoy. Car yeah. Creek and Hazard. Yeah, coming up yeah. in a few minutes. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Our fans can't wait, Daryl McCoy. No, we'll take a quick break, and then we'll be right back here on the D&D Sports Network. If you're injured in a car wreck, don't delay. Give me a call today, Justin Markham. Here at Markham Law Office, we will fight for you. Don't settle for a handshake and a small check from the insurance companies. Give us a call. Don't take on the big insurance companies alone. We will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Here at Markham Law Office, you're more than a client. You're family, and we take care of family. Give me a call, Justin Markham, attorney at law. The Black Friday sale is on now at Kimber's. Kimber is letting you choose how you want to save, and the offers are incredible. On top of great sale prices store-wide, take an extra 10% off the lowest marked sale price on everything you buy, and Kimber will pay your sales tax too. Or get up to 72 months, six full years interest-free. Look for amazing doormuster deals throughout the store during the Black Friday. Fourth quarter action here, 59-17. Hazard uh, on top of Jackson City from Breathitt County, Kentucky. Uh, uh, Hazard in a 2-3 zone right now. And uh, Jackson looking to find a hole to get, get it to Jet. 
They did, but Jet couldn't hang on to it. And I'm looking forward to that eighth grade game, Hazard Car Creek. Yes, sir. Got a fifth, sixth grade game, then seventh, eighth grade game. Turnover, Hazard, on the go. Hazard's now emptied the bench. Can't finish. Right. That city will come away with the rebound. Fifty-nine, seventeen. Up and under. He gets blocked from behind by Tucker Johnson. And ladies and gentlemen, listen. If we're t you're tuning in and saying, "Well, what's going on?" Well, here's what's going on. Jackson City trying to find an offensive identity. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to uh, find anything. You know, these these first two games have been a struggle. The uh, Belfry went on a quarter and a half drought without scoring, almost two quarter drought, and then uh, this one here, Jackson City. Coach has uh, really struggled to score in the basketball. I think they only had three points in the first half. As I told, second half, and, I mean. And folks, listen, I'm a big time fan of that Jackson City yep. uh, school. And like I said earlier, if you're just tuning in, once upon a time in another lifetime, I, I kind of was a de facto co-head coach, I guess you would say. I would come down and, and run their practices for them, and and I uh, got really close to a lot of people, including Mr. Thomas Kemper. Kemper Furniture. Yeah. Um, a lot of good people in that area. Coach, speaking of Kemper Furniture, right now they got great deals. Quality furniture at quality prices. You know, Kemper Furniture, uh, one of the biggest furniture stores we have in our coverage area in the mountains. You yeah. Know, if you're going to buy furniture, you want to buy it from Kemper. You know, that Kemper name, Coach, it just, uh, you know if you buy furniture that they're going to make sure that they back up their warranties. They're going to come out if something goes wrong with it and fix it. I mean, just a great crew there at Kemper Furniture here in Hazard. And it, like you said, they are known in this community. Uh, they have been here uh, when other, uh, all the Johnny come lately's have came and gone. Kemper Furniture has stood the test of time. That's Trip Brashear with the bucket. Swings it over to Kincaid. Kincaid. Back over to Johnson. Corner pocket. Good. By Hobrook. 66 to 17. Poked away, but Jackson City will regain possession. There we're about two and a half hours away from uh, Pike Central, not County Central. Yeah, you know that that game very interesting. You got two uh, two uh, guys that I really respect in the coaching uh, ranks in Casey Huff and Eric Ratliff. You've mentioned to me multiple times how much you uh, enjoy Eric Ratliff's style of play. I do. He uh, he gets his players to battle for him, and you know that's when you can do that, you've won half the battle. Yeah. You know they. Uh, and in another interesting thing, Casey Huff will be playing uh, one of his former players in that game, and Jake Sloan. Yeah, uh, Jake Sloan, uh, now officially, officially, officially uh, part of that Pike Central program. Yep. Uh, yep. Played at the zip zone. Casey Huff coached him in Prestonsburg. Yeah. Pike Central looking to finally get to Rupp. They've, uh, for a couple of years now, they thought it was their year. And, uh, you know, if there was every year they uh, that everything yeah. was lined up, it's this year. Yeah. Shot up, no good. Coach, we got a running clock here now. Running clock, and uh, if you're if you're a junior high basketball fan, even if you're not, tune in. We'll get you ready for the nightcap. We'll get you ready for the double main event. Uh, you're you're not going to want to go anywhere or tune anywhere else because Daryl, we've been covering this junior 14th region junior high basketball for a good month now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The uh, and you know we've covered Car Creek for years, yes. and uh, it's going to be interesting to see who who wins that game, the eighth grade game, and then you know looking at this Jackson City team coach you know they get they went deep on their bench now there's a deflection and a steal 
Here comes Jackson City, kicks it out, back. Shot up. Got it. That's Nicholas Gross. Shot that with a lot of confidence. Yeah, and I, I look forward to uh, to continuing to cover Jackson City and these kids and see how they grow. Nice job by Hazard, moving the ball. 68-21. Look back. If that was Maggard. And you're speaking of Car Creek. Well, he's going to pull again, uh, in and out. Darrell, uh, for Knott County Central, there's some guys there getting uh, some important minutes for Knott County Central played on that Car Creek team. Nate. Connor Napier. Yeah. Yeah, Connor Napier. Uh, you had the um, uh, Chain and Michael uh, Gibson. The Gibsons. Uh, Jaden Amberg. Yes. Yeah. And then we was missing. There's one more. Uh, I'd have to look at their roster to figure it out, but you know they had they had five legit starters. Yeah. Time ticking here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh, the Chance Hamburgy, I think. Yeah, Chance Hamburgy. Hazard, gonna get the W. The only thing remaining is final score, and who's gonna be named the DJ Begley most valuable player of this game? You have Braylon Eddington and uh, Jaleel Warren named uh, players of the game for their respective squads in the first game. We're uh, under a minute to play. Still working, I like it. Yeah. Both teams still competing. And then if you're not, listen, DJ Begley, uh, Daryl McCoy, Coach Kevin Keith, well, guess what, in seven minutes, uh, JV action, Prestonsburg Buckhorn, right? Yes, yes, and uh, look forward to all the games we got today. And then uh, you got uh, Chapmanville and Sherman over on the hard yeah. side. Yeah. Yeah, so when other when other places talk about four games in a day, that's uh, <laughs> that's light work for yeah. D and D. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, media outlets show up and they'll you know they'll do half a tournament or yeah. you know we uh, you know to, well today I'd say we're pushing 17, 18 games. Yeah, if not more. Daryl McCoy going to be on his feet for about 12 hours today. No, dreading that, but I hey, listen. I would rather be here than anywhere else. Yes, sir. 70 to 23, Hazard with a big win over Jackson City. Player of the games. Let's see who they give them to real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna Hook. say Eversol uh, for Hazard. Real quick, want to thank Sagersville Funeral Home, Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance, Derek Bowling at Kentucky Farm Bureau, East Main Street Pharmacy. Camper Furniture, Zip Zone, Warfield, Kentucky, Mexican Restaurant in Inez, Howard Family Pharmacy, Double Quick, Conley Brothers Giovanni's, Willie Crace at Crace Construction, Solid Rock Development, Crumb Funeral Home, Smoking Hot Vape Shop, Citizens Bank of Kentucky, Made to Crave, Castle's Jewelry, Huff Pharmacy, Tropical Owl, sponsoring today's game. Braxton Jett, the big man. Yeah. Well deserved. He's going to be a nice player for Jackson City. Braxton Jett. Big fella. Keep an eye on him. And their player of the game for the Bulldogs. Player of the game for the Bulldogs. Oh. Dalton. Dalton Combs. Combs. Surprise out of nowhere. Yeah. I, well, well, he played well, brother. Yes, he did. Both sides of the ball. Shot the ball well. You can see, uh, trying to tell, is that Happy Mobilini giving the award down there? Want to thank Happy Mobilini. Want to thank the... Uh, I want to thank Happy Mobilini, I want to thank Tim Short, and I want to thank Judge 
Uh, Perry County Judge Scott Alexander is sponsoring today's games, the DJ Begley Classic. They are the tournament sponsors here. Yeah. And uh, make that clear. But, uh, Coach, as uh, we got 13 minutes to go, we're going to jump out and we will be back with more action here on the D&D Sports Network. <laughs> 